Advisors of the recall effort against Mayor Latoya Cantrell say they only need 1,029 signatures to trigger a recall election. Yeah, the group made the announcement on its uh, Instagram page tonight. Organizers need 49,975 signatures by February 22nd, which is Ash Wednesday. The Registrar of Voters Office would then have 20 days to verify the signatures on the petition. Dillard University political analyst Dr. Robert Collins joins us with uh, more perspective on this. I guess, Robert, first of all, uh, 1,029 away, uh, if those are all correct and everything, how surprised are you that they were able to get this many signatures? Well, based on the amount of money that they've spent and they've been on television and that they've had, uh, you know, two mailers go out, uh, it, it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, they've spent over a half a million dollars in this campaign. It's a well-funded recall campaign. So, um, you know, when you have that kind of money to spend, you can get results. And from other recall elections I'm sure you see in a recall efforts. What makes this one kind of different? Because at first we were kind of talking like, I mean, this is a big feat to try to get all those signatures, but now more than a thousand away. What's the comparison here? Well, this 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 uh, recall campaign is better funded and better organized than any recall campaign that I've certainly ever seen in my career. And, and I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that it's so well funded. When, when you have that kind of funding, you know, you can get professional you know, production, uh, you know, and have a, you know, a good media operation. You can have a good direct mail operation. You know, you can do all those things that you need to do to get your message out. Most recalls are just a bunch of volunteers running around doing volunteer stuff. But, but, you, uh, but with the funding, you have to have people who want to sign still and believe that they, they, they want want to sign this as oh, well. oh yeah certainly you have to have you know there you know there has to be a strong feeling in the electorate that they're unhappy with 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 the mayor you you know certainly so there's 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 no doubt about that and then robert so they, they say they're a thousand away the the number for for those of you uh, who don't know that it was reduced from fifty three thousand to forty nine thousand or so because it's only active voters um, but you, you think they still need to get, you know, a thousand's not enough. They need a little more than that, you think? No, because even if they get to 50,000, which in theory would give them the number that they need to trigger the recall, the reality is we know that some of these votes, uh, some of these signatures are going to be invalidated uh, by the, the registrar of voters when, when she, she checks the signatures and she has to certify them. So realistically, they have to get a couple of thousand over to give themselves a sufficient cushion so that when, when a few of those votes are maybe, you know, a thousand or so of those votes get invalidated, they still have the number that they need. So they're going to have to keep working, you know, until the, you know, until the deadline. And just looking at that Instagram post, do you think it was a way to kind of energize the people that are still kind of on the fence um, to say, hey, it's only a little mm. over a thousand left? Sure, because, you know, a lot of voters, even voters that, that really had, had, you know, negative feelings about the mayor were saying, well, you know, what's the point in putting our signature on this? This is never going to happen anyway. I think this was a push by the recall organizers to let the voters know, okay, we're, you know, we're close. We're close to the finish line. This is the number. If you haven't sent in your mailer, you need to send it in. If you haven't signed the petition, you need to sign it. So this number was put out there to, to energize their voters, and, you know, and those those people that are on the fence to go ahead and tip the balance and to get those people into the fold. All right, Dillard's Dr. Robert Collins, thanks as always for coming down to the studio tonight. Thank you. All right.